Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Orlando and I turned down $2.5 million. And we're gonna get into the detail why I turned it down, guys. But as you know, I bought an apartment complex back in September and you know, I've just been getting tons and tons and tons of offers on this complex. And someone came to me and said, Orlando, I will give you $2.5 million for this property. If you watched that video previously, you know that I bought that property for $1.4 million. He was looking for a price of the $1.4 million. And someone is willing to give me a million dollars over, 1.1 <laughs> to be exact, over what I bought it for in September. Now that's insane, right? <laughs> but so you're asking yourself, Orlando, are you crazy? Why did you turn that down? You should take that right now. Someone is offering you 2.5 million for your building that you just bought? Oh man, Orlando, you are nuts. Well, I'm here to explain to you guys how the trickery <laughs> works when it comes to this, guys. You guys will get fooled every single time. And this is a video that you need to really pay attention to because if you get to this point when it comes to real estate, you don't wanna get the wool pulled over your eyes and we're gonna jump straight into it. So as I was saying, I have been getting tons and tons and tons of offers on this exact complex. It has been bananas with people just emailing, emailing, emailing me saying they would buy it, buy it, buy it. Well, of course I know everybody would buy it. That's why I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to get the feedback from people saying that they want to purchase this complex. So let's get into the nitty gritty of why I turned down all of that money. Okay, so right here, you will see this is the unit that I bought. I did a video about how I made a lot of money on it and whatnot, but let's get into the numbers. Let's just jump right into the numbers. I bought the property for $1.4 million, right? Remember that guys, $1.4 million. Now of that $1.4 million, I had to bring down a down payment of $400,000. So what does that mean? That means that I have a loan on that property for a million dollars and 400,000 of that is my own money that I put down on the property. Okay, so remember that 400,000 is already my money. Now, when I went to go get the appraisal on the loan, the appraisal came back on this property. If you watched that last video, you will know it came back at value of one 0.989. So that means with the money that I already have in the building, I have a million dollars worth of equity in the property, guys. A million dollars as is, doing nothing, not raising rents, not doing anything. I have a million dollars in this property. So then I get the great offer the wonderful offer of a $2.5 million offer. We will close ASAP, all cash, blah, 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 right? So a lot of you guys would think to yourself, Orlando, why would you turn that down? Well, here we go. There are things, if I sell this property, I am going to get hit <laughs> with taxes that are insane. First of all, I haven't owned the property for a year, so I'm gonna get hit with short capital gains tax. That's gonna be at around 40%, 37%. And that number came to $407,000 in taxes, okay? Now let's just do the simple math and not make this difficult at all. So remember, you have to take the purchase price of 1.4 because 400,000 of that is my own money. And then you have to also add in that the property was already valued at 200,000. So all I have to work with is the $500,000 in what someone would look at and say, and someone's overpaying half a million dollars. Well, if I was to sell the property at that $2.5 million, I'm going to get hit with capital gains tax of about $500,000, a little bit short of it. So that means all I'm getting paid on this property is $100,000 at the end of the day, 
<laughs> because the taxes would literally wipe out any gains that I am receiving for that purchase. So a lot of people would say, well, you get to cash that out and all that other stuff. Well, here is how I do my deals. I like to transfer the taxes to avoid capital gains and put it in a 1031 exchange. Well, the problem with a 1031 exchange is you have to have a property ready to purchase and you have a time limit. If I don't have a property to purchase, that means I will get hit with that capital gains of that $400,000 no matter what because I don't have another property to put that into. So isn't that crazy? But here is the golden thing. This area is a up and coming area and it is being built up and you can see all things coming up around the apartment complex. So with that being said, with rents that are gonna be raised and I can say that in the next four to five years, this complex will probably be worth around $4 million. So that means that I could sell this unit in four to five years for about $4 million. Now, what would I do with those excess funds? Well, those excess funds, I would put in a 1031 exchange and that means means that I could use those funds to purchase a $15 million complex. So why would I give up the opportunity <laughs> for the, in the next four years or five years to move up, trade up from this apartment complex into a $15 million apartment complex? <laughs> I'm not giving that up. I'm not giving that up. Okay, guys. The reason why I wanted to make this video is I just wanted to make sure that when you get started, know what you have. Look at the properties. Look at the area. Hold properties for long term. And then when it's time to move up, move up. Don't get enticed by the globs of money that people are going to try to throw at you. And you have to do the research because this deal, this offer that I got, most people would look at it and go, you are nuts, Orlando. You need to take this deal now. <laughs> you need to take it now. But when I break it down the way that I did today on this video, you would look at it and go, oh no, I would never do that, Orlando. But on surface level, you would have thought, Oh, you should take it. So once again, guys, I hope you got value out of this content. I know this video was numbers heavy, but hey, look, sometimes we gotta do it. Numbers are important in real estate. So I'm gonna need you to watch this next video here. It will help you get into your first rental property and learn all things financial. Make sure you join my membership program. It's down in the description and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.